George M. Bailey, Lieutenant Commander, USN, retired. Out of the blue, they assigned me as the Naval Liaison Officer of St. Thomas. So St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, which was really, I had no idea I was getting the orders. They just came in. And I really enjoyed that tour because on my way down, I had to stop and see the Tenth uh, Naval District, and uh, the Admiral talked to me and he says, about reports. I said, well, how about if I gave you a report after I had the first incident? He said, all right, that's good. And later, he sent a captain down to St. Thomas. And the captain told me, he says, I'm going back and tell him I think you're running for mayor down here. Because every morning I'd see the governor. Every morning I'd drop in, we'd have coffee. I'd tell him what I'm doing, he'd tell me what's happening. That was it. The concerns were that before they sent me down there, a sailor had been hit in the head with a hammer at uh, Holiday Inn down there. And I was sent down to see if we can use that court again. And I did very well, except with the Holiday Inn. And he said, I'm not cooperating with you. I said, it's fine, okay. And he came back a day later and said, what's, what's with these two shore patrol outside my bar? I said, well, I don't want anybody to get in trouble, so. He said, but it's ruining my business. Yep. Then he cooperated. But uh, I only had one real incident where a sailor took a statue's hand for God knows what reason. And uh, the ship left, and I got word about the hand. So I got on a horn with the captain of the ship. I said, look. I don't want to make an incident out of this. I know you don't. But you've got a second class radio man down there who's got a hand. And I'd like it back. I got it back. So no incident. No. And I've had very good relations with the police, you know. And they just didn't want incidents either. Then I'd go down, I'd I'd go down to one of the out-of-bounds districts and talk to the guy that was in charge of that. And I talked to the police. And we had no incidents. And I talked to each commanding officer as the ship came in. I said, I'd like you to give your men early liberty so they can get over, they can swim, they get tired in the sun, and we'll have no problems. And that's the way it worked. So I had a, uh, there was a cottage up on the hill. I found that and I told Governor Gajewski that uh, I've got a place to live. I don't have a phone yet. I don't know when I'll get a phone. I got home that night, two guys running up the hill, phone wire. <laughs> uh, that's the key, way, the way it was, that's the way it works. This nice, you know, like I told you, nice begets nice. Yeah. My wife came to visit me there, and that was nice. And the governor told her that she could have any job that she wanted if I'd stay there. I, I had four daughters. I was not about to stay in the Virgin Islands.